Greetings to all my fellow travelers, old and new. This is mainly an update to talk about a new project I've been working on. Reading aloud, along with posting the text, of the best-selling book in the history of the world for my channel. I've actually been working on it every waking moment for weeks now, trying to get a big head start. So maybe, just maybe, I'll be able to keep up with it all going forward and be able to post a new video every day. It's making all the slides of the text in a hopefully pleasant format that takes the most time, but I've at least finished making all the slides of the Old Testament, so I think I'm ready to attempt to keep up with the daily reading and video posting. I think I mentioned it in my last video, but my plan is to post a daily reading of the entire Bible from start to finish, along with the text, so you can read along with me if you'd like. Or you can always pause the video and reread portions or take some notes. For me, it's been too long since I actually sat down and carefully read through the entire Bible word for word. So I thought while I'm at it, I might as well share it with you. And feel free to share any of your thoughts and notes under the videos too. It's actually a great exercise for me because by the time I get a video completed, I've read through it many times over. Each video will only be anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes, so it shouldn't be too hard to keep up with. Some videos may sound a bit subdued and sleepy, but some are meant to be that way. I'm not intending to rush through all this as fast as I can. And some videos, I would rather they sound more like a gentle bedtime story. I'll be reading the King James Version, and as I finish each book, I'll post the entire book on my channel as well. I've already got a few of the complete books posted on my channel. Some of the favorites, like the Book of Revelation, and perhaps the longest one, which is the Book of Psalms. All 150 of them. And that video is just over six and a half hours long. And one of my sleepy time videos. When we get to those books, I'll simply cut my current video into smaller pieces and post them for the daily readings. It should at least give my voice a little break from recording sessions here and there. Some of the books are so short, we should be able to get through the whole thing in one short video. If I can find the time, I'm still planning on posting some books that were taken out of a lot of the Bibles or never made it into the Bible for various reasons. There won't be any teachings in these videos. It's just going to be a straight reading without any commentary. Since it is the best-selling book in the history of the world and that important, I'd love to see everyone read it all from start to finish at least once before our days are ended. There are lots of crazy names, but I'll do my best to pronounce them as best I can. And I'm not going to play the name game when it comes to God and Jesus. I'm going to read it as it is written in the English King James Version. Simple as that. It's a big book, but we can do this, taking it slow and easy, one day at a time. If you'd like to help support my projects, I've got my tip jar link over to PayPal, and I also have a Patreon account. Plus, I have my art stuff that I've been neglecting too much lately. I'll have links to all that stuff in my description boxes. I'll have a separate playlist for these daily readings, and the whole thing should be in order from start to finish. If YouTube shows blank spots or unlisted videos on my playlist, it's only because the videos are already uploaded and scheduled for release the next day or something. I have no idea how long all this will take, but there is no better way to pass the time 
while we wait for God to take us all home. I think I'll call the playlist Midnight Oil Daily Bible. I might even keep the titles like in this video, Midnight Oil in the Green Grove, since that really is my name and where I live. My last name is Grove, which typically means a stand of fruit-bearing trees, and I do live in a small town named Green. I like to grow a few veggies and herbs in the summers, and I playfully named my little backyard patio garden the Green Grove Micro Farm. Oddly enough, my first name is Laurie, which comes from the laurel tree, which is what they make those leafy crowns out of. You know, those laurel leaf crowns of victory. What's even funnier is that when I was a kid, my parents sometimes told me that my father wanted to name me Daphne, but my mother refused, saying everyone would call me Daffy Duck. She claims she has no idea why she named me Laurie. It just popped into her head at the last minute, and my father thought it was okay. About a year ago, I somehow stumbled across the story of Daphne and the laurel tree and Apollo and the whole of that story and where those leafy crowns of victory came from in the first place. I asked my parents if they knew about that story and neither one of them had any idea about it but they were a bit freaked out when I told them the whole thing. Even to the part of the Daphne or laurel trees being immune to lightning and one of the reasons the emperors wore those crowns seeing how I've been struck by lightning twice in my life. They even kept the Laurel Grove on the Imperial Palace grounds, started from the original tree as the story goes. I thought it all pretty funny, as well as a bit spooky, with all the coincidences and connections to my own life. Well, I did have a video going into a lot more details about the whole story on my channel when I was talking all about John and Patmos and the yearly festival at his tomb in Ephesus that went on for about a thousand years. But recently I cleaned up my whole channel so I could have a fresh start this year. Oh, what's even funnier is that I'm always talking about crazy coincidences with my channel and things that happen in the news. Well, this one really had me laughing out loud. A few weeks ago, shortly after I posted my last video giving the heads up to everyone, I went through my channel and deleted every one of my old teaching videos and only left the audiobooks up. It felt a bit weird doing that, but I can always take a look at my old teachings, especially the ones using Stellarium and Signs in the Heavens, and sort of condense and reorganize my thoughts and make some better videos about it all. So anyway, I deleted over a hundred videos on my channel and a lot of it was rapture talk and it wasn't two hours later. I signed into YouTube and it was all over the news that all flights had been canceled. And I'm sitting there looking at my nearly blank channel and I just burst out laughing. I'm still laughing about that one. Some of you I know have read the entire Bible more times than you could count, but you still might like to join me and have a relaxing, hands-free read through the Bible with your notepad handy. Or maybe just something to listen to while you take a nap. The entire Bible is such a fantastic woven tapestry filled with symbolism and parables and types and shadows which repeat over and over and every time I hear or read something it reminds me of something else in the Bible there's just so much to it all that I don't think anyone could ever connect all the dots and it just gets that much deeper when you start studying history astronomy Hebrew and Greek and all the traditions throughout history. 
There are several reasons why I'm doing this, and some are just too sad to think about or talk about. I guess one of the reasons is it's hard to talk to people about the Bible when they've never actually read it. So I thought some people might like to read it with me. So that's one of my major projects for this year, reading and posting the entire Bible on my channel, word for word, and hopefully not too many mistakes. I'm just about ready to start rolling it out, just in time for the Festival of Trees too, or what the Jews call To Be Shabbat, or the New Year for Trees. I looked it up on the Shabbat.org website because I heard a few rapture watchers talking about it. And according to the Jewish Learning website, To Be Shabbat is Monday, February 6th this year, in 2023. It could actually be tomorrow, the 5th of February, because that is the night of the full moon. To Be Shabbat, or the New Year of Trees, marks the beginning of all the trees waking up from their winter slumber and beginning to bloom for their fruit-bearing cycle. That sounds like a perfect time to start my new series of Midnight Oil in the Green Grove. So if you'd like to spend a few minutes in the Bible every day with me, hit the like and subscribe button and meet me back here tomorrow for the first four chapters of Genesis. I just discovered that YouTube allows me to schedule videos, so I'll let them post at midnight. Bring your lamps and let's fill them with oil and let's praise the Lord together. Peace out.